I was thinking last night. Now, so I want to ask you all a question. What major thing have you accomplished? Now, every Monday, Phil and Susan would ask you, what are your wins and your accomplishments, right? Challenges. Wins and challenges. And I'm asking something similar, but I'm asking something more compulsive. Oprah says we should move. Yeah, let, me, let me play that. Let, let me play that because I want to talk about finances, which I am. But I also, I'm watching you. And let me, let me see who's here. Who's here? I've been getting some good information. Whoop. Oh, I, have, I, I have. I have, definitely. Good. Yeah. Now, silently answer the question: Who's done nothing with it? Don't 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 answer. But I, I think you can get my point there. You, you know what I'm saying? I think you can get my point. You, you have to. There's something we have to do. You know what I'm saying? There's something we have to do. Let's listen to Oprah real quick on her her at Stanford. I'm not really interested in the whole thing. She has this model for living your absolute best life that I really find flawless. I really do, I find it flawless. Let's, let's, let's look at it just for a moment. I think it's very relevant here for this financial class. The very first time I had a life coach, they weren't called that at the time, but an expert on, who shared with our audience, the women, she did a list and say, where are you on the list? And literally in that audience, women booed her when she said, put yourself top of the list. This was in 1992. In 1992, the idea of being top of the, your own list was people like, how dare she? And she doesn't have children. I said, she didn't say abandon your children and go running in the streets. <laughs> she just said, put yourself at the top of the list. Nurture yourself. Honor yourself. Stop the crazy mind chatter in your head that tells you all the time that you're not good enough because that's the number one, I found too, issue with everybody. Uh, the reason people say, you know, how, how is that, how is that? It's because you, you, you wanna know how do you measure up? Well, to know that you're just being here, you're just being here, however that sperm, bam, hit that egg. <laughs> however that occurred for you, that your being here is such a miraculous thing and that your real job is to honor that, is to honor that. And the sooner you figure that out, oh, wow, wow. I'm one of the lucky ones. I got to be here. So how do you continue to prepare yourself to, 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 to live out the highest, fullest, truest expression of yourself as a human being? And I just want to end with this. Yeah. There are no mistakes. There really aren't any, because you have a supreme destiny. When you're in your little mind, in your little personality mind, where you're not centered, where you really don't know who you are, that you come from something greater and bigger and that we really all are the same. When you don't know that, you get all flustered. You get stressed all the time, wanting something to be what it isn't. There is a supreme moment of destiny calling on your life. Your job is to feel that, to hear that, to know that. All right, I want you to pay attention right here. You, you, you shouldn't ignore everything she said before that. I could listen to this four minutes and 20 seconds for the rest of my life and be good. I really could. But I want you to hear her formula for how to do everything she just said. So what did she just say before that? But there is some, something in you, some supreme destiny, something that very few people get to achieve. And your job is to see that, know that, feel that. And when you do that, you'll be one of these great people. And then she gives you a formula, it's right here. And sometimes when you're not listening, you get taken off track. You get in the wrong marriage, the wrong relationship, you take the wrong job. Yeah, but it's all leading to the same. Okay, path. so let me, so let me, so y'all, you've messed up your finances. Let me do, hold on, let me, let me, let me put you down real quick, Oprah. Let me, hold on, Oprah. I, I, I come back to you, Pastor, Pastor Oprah, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You messed up your finance. It is what it is. Ain't no sense in playing around. You 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 screwed. Okay, it just it is what it is. 
and it's not like you can go unmess them up. That's wrong energy in the first place because if you keep unmessing some up, you get more of the mess up. So you don't even want to do that. Let's just let's just all collectively take a peaceful deep breath. There's a difference. There's a deep breath. Some of them deep breaths I be taking full of stress. A peaceful <laughs> deep breath and just be perfectly fine with where we are. Let, let's just do that for a moment. And please, just at your own pace. This is so difficult to do. And if you go listen to my meditations on YouTube, I always say, man, just be okay with where you are. Which is amazing, by the way. I just had to say that. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. What, what, yeah. what did you put in that? <laughs> Prophet Jerry just commented a couple hours ago. I appreciate you. I want you to account for your spiritual position in this world. And in this case, because so we're talking about money, I want you to account for your poverty condition, should that be what you're in. And, I mean, I, I guess technically, anything less than $250,000, this is what your government, this, the American government says anything less than $250,000. No, $450,000 is middle class. Well, no, $250,000 is middle class. $450,000 is top 1%. That's not me. Uh, it started with Obama. They did some sort of, I forget what it was, when they changed the tax codes. Mm. If, you, if, if you wasn't making more than $250,000, you know, you, you, you so just, just your government says that <laughs> $250,000 is middle class. When I was growing up, that was filthy rich in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I was middle class. That was, you know, what was the the, the chipping that not chipping down, you know, the, the cartoon we used to watch when you swimming in gold, oh, Uncle yeah. Scrooge. Yeah. yeah, you know, that was all that. Oprah is breaking something down. And and I want you, oh, go ahead, Jerome. No, I said that was DuckTales. Right DuckTales, there. that's it. That's what it was. DuckTales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my cartoon there. Yeah. I want you all to receive wherever you are is right where you should be. I, I don't mean to be so esoteric, but you know, what's in you gonna always come out of you. So it is what it is. Because she's getting ready to say something and then I wanna tie it into your finances. She's getting ready to give you her formula and I wanna tie it into your finances, but I need you to hear the damn thing. I don't, I don't want you to, I don't want you to hear that she said it. I want you to hear that she said it to you and put it in you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Put it in you. So what, we, what we're doing, I paused it. Pastor Oprah King. Nice. <laughs> Pastor Oprah. And I want you all to just be perfectly fine with where you are. Because I'm going to tell you, if you believe in some higher intelligence, for most of you, that's God. For some of you, that's the Baptist God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> then you have to believe that you're not so powerful that you messed your life up. See, that was real practical. Mm -hmm. I mean, either your God is really weak or you are just overblowing your situation. You, you, you just, you, you're just making it too big of what it is. Because if you're going to believe, Romans 8 and 28, Phil said the other day, then you're right where you're supposed to be at all times. Uh -oh, see, that's when you start losing people, Grace. When you start telling people, it's okay, you're not dumb, they hate that. So I, I do better off saying all of y'all are dumb. And then you'd be like, whatever, and you, no. You're not dumb. You're perfectly fine. And the hell you're going through is perfectly fine. Sometimes we don't move. I, I'm, I'm doing this because I've noticed we are killing these financial classes. Mm -hmm. Half of y'all ain't doing nothing. Nothing. And I wouldn't address it. But we're talking today about only invest in areas you know. 
So that means you are doing something, nothing. And that's the only damn area in your life that you know in action. You don't know massive action. You know inaction. And you are incredibly confused because inaction is an action. It's just not an action that serves you. Did you spend that $1,000 you were supposed to spend? That's half of y'all. Half of y'all on this call right now know that the $1,000 you're holding on to, if you spend it, you'll, your life would be better. There ain't a person on this phone call that ever changed their life for free. You've never had a life altering event that didn't cost too much. It cost too much pain. You had a baby. All right, cost too much blood and skin. There's nothing in your life that changed your life that God didn't say, leave you, Kendrick. Break that skin. Get in that fiery furnace. Get in the lion's den. We do this all day long. If you changed your life, it costed you a lot. And some of you right now are holding on to that $1,000, that $2,000, when you can genuinely go buy you a class and change your life. Oprah is about to spit straight facts. Listen to this. Path. There are no wrong paths. There are none. There's no such thing as failure, really, because failure is just that thing trying to move you in another direction. So you get as much from your losses as you do from your victories, because the losses are there to wake you up. The losses are to say, fool, that is why you go to school. <laughs> so that CBS can call <laughs> you. So when you understand that, you don't allow yourself to be completely thrown by a grade or by a circumstance because your life is bigger than any one experience. And if I had, I always ask people on Super Soul Sunday to tell me, what would you say to your younger self? Every person says in one form or another, I would have said, relax, <clears throat> relax. It's gonna be okay. It really is gonna be okay. Because even if you're on a detour right now, and, and that's how you know when you're not at ease with yourself, when you're feeling like, oh, yeah, that is the cue. All right, let's stop right there real quick. Uh, remind me that Talisha asked for the full video link so I can send it to her. Right here. If you, because I was going to ask a question and everybody was going to lie. Everybody's gonna give me a ceremonial yes, Susan. Yeah, that is gonna be one of them ceremonial yeses. I was gonna ask the question. I, I knew better. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a question that traps you into an answer, and only a few people can answer it. If you are incredibly happy with the view of your financial situation, nope. without using spirituality. When you unmute your mic and let us know who you are, please, so we can rob you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> the topic was you perfect. Know I couldn't what? resist. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I couldn't resist. So I don't think there's anybody on the call that. All right. So you're not at ease with your financial situation. And Oprah is saying that's how you know when you're off. And it's okay. That's how you know when you're off. If you're not at ease, so if, if I was going to say, if you're okay with your, but they wouldn't answer that way. If you're not at ease with your situation, you should be moving. And she tells us how to move. And I really, really, really find this incredible. That you need to be moving in another direction. Don't let yourself get all thrown off continue to be thrown off course, when you're feeling off course, that's the key. How do I turn around? So when everybody was talking about, when I started this network, if I had only known, good Lord, how difficult it would be. Um, 
the way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this. To what is the next right move? And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move. And not to be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that one moment. All right, there you go. So what's her form? Hold on, I'm mean, because Talisha found the link, but I know some of y'all didn't find the link. Oprah talk at Stanford. And it is this one. All right, it's this one right here. So I send this to y'all. What's her formula? It's simple, Arshia. She says, the job is to be still. Pause. Calm yourself down. And ask yourself, what's my next right move? And then make that move. Antonio, and go back to my next right move. Yes, ma'am. Being strategic, I'm always thinking of that what is my next move you know every day you know i go look at my notes on what has to be done and then i'm like okay what is the best move to make to proceed forward in whatever that situation is um and that's how i've and then i check things off the list but you know in the general for the business mm -hmm. what is the next best move the right yeah. move and i'm that's something that I'm always, you know, wanting to have in the forefront. And I'll, you know, we'll sit down and talk about those things, you know, mm -hmm. I'll sit filled down because, you know, I'm always wanting to do that. And that's important to me. He'll be thinking it in his mind, but, mm -hmm. you know, we need to like get it together. Right. That is so, so true. And, yep. and before you can do that, it's so true that you got to pause. You got to pause because you can't you make a pause. good decision from a bad place. Right. You got to pause and then calm yourself down. And that's, that's right. you know, sometimes we are not there. We'll go to that before those two steps. And then you don't, nothing happens. Yep. You don't do those two episode that I love this, what she's saying. Yeah, I could, I could listen to this clip all day and get so many different nuggets from it and it's just it's, it's just incredible and i put the link out there for you all i'm bringing this up because some of you are not moving and and susan's right you you got to be still you can't make a good decision from a bad place and because i was thinking yesterday i was talking to tempest which is something that i typically do talk to tempest and Deanna at, at night and i was thinking about what I had been doing and accomplishing over the past 72 hours, and I just wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop until I felt this particular way. And in me, I had to, there was something I needed to finish. And Jerome, it was difficult. And I hated everybody. I still hate it right now. Because I'm doing something that I don't know how to do, but I know how to do. I have a foundation for it, but not in the advanced way that I'm doing it now. And for 72 hours, I feel real stupid. I still feel stupid. I'm still trying to figure it out. And I got to thinking, and I, I slipped and said something yesterday. I said, oh, I don't need to go get some CAD software. I could just stick in the video games and do it right there. Investing in where I know. Can you see how we on subject? Mm -hmm. Investing in where I know. I know programming. I know games. In my case, I know 2D games. 3D games is a motor scooter. Mm -hmm. yeah, not being kind to me. You understand? It's not. Uh, I can 2D the hell out of something. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But the 3D and high, high resolution 3D games. The ones that look real. You walk by a TV and like, is that the basketball game? No, that's, that's, that's actually the game. The basketball game is not on. It's not really the Warriors playing. But you walk by NBA 2K22 mm -hmm. and see if you don't think that's real TV. It must be said to all of you, 
I need you to go do something. You need you to go do something. You go do something now. This, this is day 10. And this is clearly a master course. There's no doubt about it. And to think about it, we do this on September 30th. This is April. Do you know how much you're going to kick yourself in the butt if you go from April to September 30th, five days a week, working on your personal finances, and you got nothing to show for it? Do you, you understand what you're going to do to yourself? Mm-hmm. This self-talk that you're going to have is going to be terrible. This is what we do. And when it comes to, well, I have a lot to say. When it comes to, here it is, fourth law, only invest where you understand. I'm not making this up. I, I, I'm not making this up. Now, this is not something that I just rolled off. I wrote this in 2017 sometime. All right? I don't know when. August 19, 2017. The law is way down here. So what's the law? Gold slippeth away from the man who invested in businesses of purposes in which he is not familiar or has not been approved to do. Easy. You can Google law for, but we need to, we need to, we need to break down what, what my little 2017 self said about it. Risk should have an S right there a part of life. However, Antonio, unnecessary risk only plays a part in the lives of the poor and the middle class. Y'all, I, I, I be right. I be getting on your nerves too, I know. Throughout my years of experience, I can tell you for sure that being rational is a major component of being successful. Let me just pause right there. You know if you ain't did a doggone thing, but listen. And let me tell you, I expect that. I expect it from Pareto, Pareto's principle, 80-20 rule, only 20% of y'all go even do anything. But that ain't even true. I, ex- I always expect learning to be more popular than doing. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing of life. But this time, you're being called out. And even if you are doing, like Jerome, you ain't doing enough. You ain't doing enough. You, you, cause Jerome's clearly doing, he couldn't, but massive action. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay? Because yesterday, all right, Mm-hmm. I sent a letter, a, another letter off to my congressman about the year, they owe me over a year back pay for unemployment. Oh, and yeah. I talked to my buddy about a month ago. He said, man, get back on them again. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what I did yesterday? You did it yesterday. I sent that letter off. They just said, but I ain't done yet. Sent yeah. the letter off, went to, fell asleep, woke up at one o'clock and could not go back to sleep. And you know why? Because me and Terrell spoke yesterday yeah. Reference my VA stuff, and I say, Jerome, you got to organize that stuff. So my brain was running through that. The next thing you know, it was six o'clock this morning, it was seven o'clock this morning, and I wasn't tired and I wasn't sleepy, and I felt good as hell. I say, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's Woo! what I'm talking about. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Now, y'all, we're gonna we clap Woo! for that. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Massive action. You, you're never sleepy when you follow your dreams. Now, you may be dead dog tired, and as soon as that head hit the pillow, you're out of there. But there's a difference waking up tired and waking up motivated. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you ain't got this to me. This Warren Buffett, I study Warren Buffett a lot. Warren Buffett talks about. Antonio, I'm still not doing enough. That, no, 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 nobody is. Nobody is. You should. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So what should you do, Antonio? Yeah, you should probably get educated in whatever the heck you're trying to do. Diversification is a protection against ignorance. What is diversification? It is having multiple seeds planted in the ground. So when you do something stupid in one, 
or when the government cut down one or when the rabbits come eat your cabbage, you got other streams of income working out for you good. Make it the sense, just pretty much. Trust me, you, you plant a garden, the bugs will come. It happens all the time. I need to get one of those little fence things. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. Hmm. Everybody's a genius until the smoke has cleared and the dust settled. When everyone is investing their money and when the media is convincing everyone to run towards the stock of that investment and everyone looks smart, yet in the crash, you will see who was really geniuses. If y'all know nothing else, this is so true now. Uh, the pandemic has proved it to y'all. Yep. This has been proven. You saw your favorite celebrities 20 years older than what they are when nobody can go out and get their hair dyed and their oh. beards dyed. You saw it. You saw, you saw billionaires crying about not having money, which still don't make no sense to me, but yeah, everything is perfect. Never invest in a business you can't understand. Ooh, Antonio, I want to get into stocks. You know stocks? Nope, don't do it. What counts for most people in investing is not how much they know, but rather how realistically they define what they don't know. I've been writing blogs a long time, y'all. Long time. I'll send you the link to this if you want it, but long time. My brother, you speaking some truth today because <laughs> I have lost, I mean, I, I can't even tell you how many thousands of dollars I lost going, huh, I have this extra money. Let me just put it here. I don't know anything about it, but it sounds good. Let me just put it on there and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Now, I got lucky with Bitcoin, yes. but all the other stuff, I did not get lucky with. Right. And you certainly not try to have your financial strategy being on luck. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm going to lose $100,000 and every 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 thousand of that, I'll, I'll win. No, ain't nobody trying to do that. Nobody's trying to do that. This is what I've done. Here's my real reason for this call. And I don't know, some of you are gonna like it, some of you not. Some of you are I'll just see you through the lens of me. And on Wednesday, we did all things tech mm -hmm. and I built life without money. And I was supposed to come back and I was supposed to do the 3D model, or just, just do something. Do something that, woo wows. And we originally planned for something like three seconds, seven seconds, right? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, something. I say, you know what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll build the city 3D model because I've already been learning how to do the 3D gaming. And I'm, I'm, I'm good. But then I got in there. Wednesday and Thursday and this morning. And yesterday I told Tempest and Deanna, I'm talking both at the same time. And I said, no, I'm not going to do the 3D model no more because I'm having fun. I'm going to just make the whole thing a video game. Just let you look at it until you understand what's what's going on. Life without money page, all in Brook, the video game. Building a game, building real life. Here's the deal. Tip is out there researching. There's big blotches of land cost $45 million, $25 million, the size of cities. Wish he was here right now. The size of cities. You understand? And I told her. Well, the only reason I wanted to buy a city is because I wanted the infrastructure that was already there. But the truth is, that was me thinking that way four or five years ago, because I've been, I've been saying this for like five, six years. 
but I don't want to buy a city. I want to buy the land and build my own city. And if you look at all the things I write, I may tell you I'll buy, but all the writing says build. You know, my subconscious keeps coming out. And there's a reason why, because I'm because it because it, first off, I don't want your broken water pipes that you ain't changed since the 70s. <laughs> I don't want that at all. You can keep that to yourself. <laughs> you can keep that to yourself. I don't want that at all. Even That's the building sure. designs that Absolutely. were being built, you know? Absolutely. And if it's going to be a resource-based economy, one of the be- one of the things I'm going to have to deal with is, well, why his house is bigger than my house? Right. So I, I want to kill that. And I want to build like Apple. I've said this before to somebody or some on one of these calls. Apple's new bill is a big circle. That's right. All right. And now everything is even in that Apple building, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You see it? Mm-hmm. Even Apple is, this, this, the universe is correcting itself. This energy is out here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This energy is out here and it, it, it's, it's real and it's palpable and you can, and it's tangible. You can touch it and you can taste it. So I want to build a big dome mm-hmm. in, the, in, in the center of, and just have, you know, and everything will be even. Like a round table, like the, night, the king's round table, etc. Then, and, and of course, you got your layers of this, your shopping centers, and well, it's not literally shopping centers, but you get it. And then you have your housing all inside of there. So you ain't got to say his house bigger than mine. Your house in the same circle as mine. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> house in the same circle as mine. So we have to build it. Well, here's what here's what was happening yesterday, and I, and I thought about it. And I said to myself, "Man, this is there's a lot here." That, that that I'm doing a lot that I'm thinking a lot that I'm blah 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 right and I'm just just going through the which folder the whole project folder has been changed okay well, that's fine I didn't want it open anyway just I'm j- just going through my head and in, in, in the basics and all these things and I'm I'm saying man I built these streets I built the traffic lights I built the cars you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, real, real talk, I swear to God. And, you know, I, I built the, how the sun is going to reflect. And I kept saying to myself, Jerome, man, that, that's a lot. That's, that's pretty cool. And I kept saying, that's, that's pretty cool. And I kept going. I kept pushing myself, doing things I don't know how to do. Doing things I don't know. But I'm watching, I'm going to YouTube. And I'm putting in YouTube tutorials. Teach me how to build the sun how to make a rock have the proper texture on it. I'm going to all these YouTube, but well, yeah, that's just the whole point. If I tell y'all to go to YouTube video, learn how to do Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> you should, it's, the same, it's the same energy. You know what I'm saying? It's the same energy. It's the same energy. And, and, and I'm, I'm super serious. So what I did, I took down a big chunk of it, but I'll let you see it at some other date. Uh-oh, I got a bug. Let's see it at some other date, but I want to share my screen. I want to show you. So here is my here is my outdoor scene, Arlenbrook, and here's the editor I'm using. But this is what I want you to see: backgrounds, buildings, highways, objects, people, roads, traffic lights, textures, water. All sorts of stuff. It's all here. It's completely, it's all here. C sharp. I had to go learn C sharp. It, here it is right here. It's all right here. Wow. I had to learn C sharp, which I didn't even know C sharp. Blah, 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 blah. Now, now, now pay attention. Pay attention. Power lines. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. And this is since this is since Wednesday. And I'm 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 busy. I'm doing the cert in the middle of a certification. I'm busy. I ain't no excuses. But I thought about it. I need to just go where I know. Am I frozen? Yeah, I think me and you are frozen. No, no, I I hear you. Okay. You know, I'm eating. I'm eating. Uh, I'm eating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just and it's good. good. I know it's that's right. Weedy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just. I'm in this process, I'm saying, well, if I'm doing the video games 2D and I'm already learning 3D games, and I might as well do this here. And here's the deal. I decided yesterday, last night, once I figured out 
once I built the streets, Phil, and three, 300 car models. It's all right. I swear, I swear to you, 300 car models in a big city. I said to myself, whoa, I never did that before. This is exactly what I did. I told Tips, I told the other same thing. I said, I ain't had no help. No, there's no, no, no Indian guy from India helping me out. And you know what I'm saying? And hmm. so, you know, that's the smartest people in the world over there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none, none, none of that stuff. You working your muscles that got muscles that you didn't know had muscles. Didn't know, just, and I said I was going to do it, doing it. And I said to myself, you know what I should do? Instead of doing some three minute model, I should just make this really big video game that I've already been working on. And I'm going to have four major storylines. I don't know how much I know about video games, but that's, that's huge in itself. Four major storylines. And then I'm going to have a game. I'm going to call it The City, all in Brook. And I'm going to let you decide. And what's the goal of the game? Well, the goal of the game is you are in the real world. So now I got to make the game like what, Jerome? The real world. So you're in the real world. And you get to choose to be a saint or an asshole. That is up to you. Free will. The metaverse. That's exactly. <laughs> it's what I've been saying, ain't it, Jerome? It's what I've been saying. And I say, look, you get to choose. But either way, you got to build a city to where everyone is equal. Or you get to destroy that city that other people are trying to build. You get to choose because that's the world we live in today. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all been to planet Earth before. But that is the world. That's the world you live in today on planet Earth. It's here. You get to choose. You get your free will. And inside of this, I won't, I won't say too much. Y'all going to see it. Here's the deal. Long game, real characters, animation, soldiers. You could be a soldier. You could pick between hundreds of characters. You get to build your character. Blah, blah, blah. I've already worked on most of that. And it's, it's me applying doing what i know and let me tell you why and hear me well before you for you multitask i told tempest and i told diana listen we can either go big for 45 million dollars or we can build one of the greatest video games ever built charge 59.99 for it and go build to 45 million dollars so wait is that the now the world that you've you okay, I, i'm confused see when you get to talking about games and stuff I, i'm lost <laughs> okay. so i was there at that class and right. you were building a city so now the city is a game the city is a game sure is and in the city you can actually play it now and have your own avatar in it and buy your own house. And you can influence people to help you create heaven on earth, or you can influence people to help you to create hell on earth. Wow. You get to be Donald Trump or you get to be Barack Obama. You, you get to choose. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you get to choose. That's completely up to you. Why? Because this is, this is, this is how God works. What started off as one thing led to another thing, led to another because everything is connected. And then wind up just saying, you know what? Just build the game anyway. So the game becomes the foundation for the metaverse that I want to build, which then gets popularity that creates the funding that we want to do, that then creates the programming of people's heads to come to the city in the real world. I got my shovel ready to break the ground right now. <laughs> I'm telling you that when you invest in what you know, good things happen with your money. Now here's the deal. We got to get 45 minutes. 25 million to buy a city and 45 to do 20, 25 to do some stuff. We, we, you all can give donations. Thank you so much. Plus, you know, we could provide services and you give donations. 
That's one way, Jerome. But I never really like asking people for stuff anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's never really been my style. What happens when, so if you look at it, I'll show you again. What happens when on your page or with your, on your website, what you're changing live? And when, you, when you're Lisa Nichols and you built your own video game and all those millions of people who love you don't mind buying the video game mm -hmm. for their children mm -hmm. or for themselves, don't mind buying a video game. And every time you buy the game, it is a donation in real life. Mm. Some of this stuff is easy. Did I have that idea a week ago? No. Did I have that idea four days ago? No. It was in serving others on Wednesday. If you was at the Thursday class, that was kind of the theme of Thursday, that when you approach things from a different angle, I need you to get, I did three, three to four months of game development in 72 hours. which never would have happened if I wasn't trying to serve others. Which never would have happened if I wasn't intelligent with money and said, you know what, I already spent this money. Might as well stick it what I know. So what's the risk investment of me building a video game? Since I'm a gamer and I know exactly what gamers want, but what's the risk investment of that? None. I own everything. There is no risk. I'm sticking where I know. I already own everything. I'm the head developer. Can I push it further, Arshia? And I, I told my boys last night, y'all get ready, because they, they come back to school May 23rd. And I said, get ready. I've been telling about the games, because they, they, they helped me with the 2D games, but now we're going real hard. And this is what I told them last night. They didn't understand. They had no idea what I said, Susan. They just, they just smiled. They, they didn't get yeah. it. I said, y'all going to be game designers and executive producers. Now, somebody like Anthony understands what I did just then was made sure that they get paid for that game for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. there, there's no risk. Well, I mean, I, everything has a risk. I understand that. I understand that. Tell me, are you right? But there's no risk. The risk is do I have what you also added to? some resources on the slide? I'm watching you. That's uh, oh yeah, I sure did. I added plenty of them. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I added, I added, I added at least at least six figures of resources since Wednesday. I really did. Uh, you, you, you can see it too. You, you can see it. I, I I don't know how to tell you, I don't know what to tell you. I just know to tell you that. This is not hard, but you got to move. Can I say mm -hmm. something in this space? Um, all that you are saying is amazing. And I like to add to what you're saying about risk, that there are two types of risk. And one is the, the one that we know which is risk. And then there's one that we feel may destroy us, which is risque. You have provided the information that you have provided and you're doing something that adds no risque, but the risk are there. However, it never outplays or overshadows what you're doing. That is the blessing of being where you are and doing it to the point of where, you are, where you're doing it and building it too. And to offer that to us, to know how to do it, is so much appreciated by myself and the others that are, are here. And I, I really, I really want you to understand how I appreciate it, even though there's a lot I do not know. 
and can't grasp at this present time, I am still productively moving forward to get into a point where I can get all of that and actively build according to what you have been giving us. And I, I, I'm truly grateful. Thank you. Oh yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. you. You're very welcome. I mean, you're very welcome for sure. I built a video game to fund everything, but I already been doing that. But this time, I had no idea I was gonna build a video game to fund the city. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's personal finances. It's I've I've been investing in myself in areas that are metaverse related mm -hmm. and since like where is my money moving let's let's like if if if, if you're confused let me unconfuse you it's not that hard i started a gaming company sometime last year two years ago to build games for playstation xbox and well, any gaming console but it's definitely playstation and xbox mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. PlayStation, Xbox, PC is what I was trying to say. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. This is what. This, this, this is the thing I'm attempting to do. And we're, what happens when it works? See, I don't, I don't think y'all believe in, in, in the, the stuff y'all say you believe in. You don't really push yourself. You're not really, what you gonna do with your money? You learn in finances so you can save money because that ain't gonna do a damn thing for you. I, I, I thought we already covered that day one. I, I thought we I thought we broke that down. I, if I remember correctly, we did that day one on purpose. Well, we're going to diversify the money in the other streams of income, Antonio. So tell me how. We'll make it work for yourself. We're going to make the money work for, make, let the money work making more money. That's right. So tell me how building a video game ain't part of that process. I'm not saying the only. You, you, who remember when video games was a fad? It was gonna go away. You sitting too close to the TV. Get back up so you get blind. <laughs> you, you know, video games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How's that working out for us? Yeah, because video games they got hope. Do, do you know? I'll show you. Because Philadelphia whole stadium, the whole stadium, whole esports stadium in Philadelphia. Me, when you told me that that blew me away, bro. When you talked about Fortnite was making more money than the Super Bowl or something, I said, how in the hell is that possible? But yep. the money's in the pudding. The money's in the proof. Yep. Hello? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, and that was like three years ago. Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> First video game. Anybody know what it is? I know I know the first video game of the Easter egg. Is it Pac-Man? I don't know. No. no. Uh... Mm -mm. Asteroid? Yeah, was it asteroid? With the, with, with the sliding Tenopy. thing, with the ball, the ball, and stuff. Okay. Look at that. Pong was the first video game. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. See? 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 See that? See that? It's This is, look, I just pulled up two of them, y'all. And now my kids are watching live virtual concerts on Fortnite and all kinds of stuff, exploring <laughs> historical sites on Fortnite. Like it's crazy what's going crazy. on Fortnite. Crazy. Here's an esports stadium in Dallas. Wow. Here's the one Jerome was talking about in Philadelphia. People going like this basketball game. It is a basketball game. It is. And it completely tests your hand eye coordination, your dexterity. And it is extremely competitive. And you have to be the best. And you have to play every day to be at the top. You have to. You have to play every day to be at the top. I'm investing in video games and real estate, obviously, but I've been very, very, very fun with this. Put your money where you know. 
if you're using your money to save your money, you're going to lose it. Go ahead, Susan. What is the um, top gamer's name? Uh, so they, they got more than one. Yeah. You, yeah. There's companies and there are people, YouTubers. So you may be thinking about PewDiePie. No, there's another guy. He was on an interview yesterday and I, I wrote it down somewhere so I could tell you, but he, you know, he has been doing this for years and years as starting out young, kind of like your kids yep. and only was allowed a certain amount of times, you know, during the day to do it. And then it went full time and now he's considered a ninja. That. You're doing ninja. Yes. Ninja. Okay. All right. <laughs> the more you, the more you was talking, the more, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the boy. So yeah. the whole interview with him and he, I mean, he's still doing that. He has made millions, you know, Way more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Millions, millions. Yeah. And, you know, he's taken a step away, taking a break right now from it, taking mm -hmm. a break. Not that he's not going to, but he's, he's taken a break because, Hey, he, he can now. He can. Yeah. It was a great interview. He's, he's just real and regular, you know? <laughs> yeah that's yeah. that's awesome yeah she, she's talking about ninja ninja just signed an exclusive deal with it wasn't twitch he left twitch for i forget who but yeah yeah he's got almost a billion followers y'all it's crazy it's dumb it's incredible it's and this is again this isn't about video games this is this is i said see me through you is that what i said see you through me however you say that use me as a lens is what i was trying to say what you gonna do with your money? It's personal finance. What you gonna do with your money? No, 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 genuinely. What you gonna do with your money? Because right now you're not moving. Some of you not moving. Like Grace, because you want a step-by-step -step guide. I get it. You want a step-by-step -step guide. I completely get it. Number one. The first thing you need to do is you need to learn how to get more money. Increase your ability to earn. Easy. It's only three rules you need to know. I'm giving them to you right now. I need to know how to get more money. Then I need to know how to keep the money I just got. That's some common sense, Dad Jerome, if I ever heard it. Then I need to know how to multiply what I just kept. This, this, this. It, it, it can't get simpler than that. Yeah, I need mean, I need to learn to get it, keep it, and multiply what I just kept. This is this is just pretty simple. Okay? This is this is pretty simple. Assuming you don't have a business, the fourth thing you need to do is you need to put that money that you just kept and multiplied into profitable employment. Now here's where it gets tricky. That's four. Here's where it gets tricky. You say, well, when should I do it? On oh, step one, step two, step three, or step four? That, 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 that's what, oh, one step, one step two, step three. You can say, so do I need to wait, Antonio, until I multiply my money to start investing? And the answer to that question is, sure. Do I have to wait, Antonio? And the answer no. to that question is, no. <laughs> like, you know, it's both and. If prices are too high, wait. You hear me? If prices are too high, wait. There's no sense in you buying something when it's fit to crash. It's all right. You can wait. They can afford. They can. They can afford for you to wait. They got their money. You understand what I'm saying? The New York Stock Exchange can afford for you to wait a couple of days. They all right. So number one, I need to know how to get money. And I explained that to you yesterday. If you these classes are built on top of each other. I did explain it to you yesterday. I did tell you that you need to move yourself out the way of getting money. Money is you getting money is the problem. You getting the resource is the trading power. I did. And I promise you we're going to create an asset. We're about to. I need to get money. I need to then keep that money. I need to multiply that money. I need to put it to profit and employment. So assuming you don't have a business or assuming you do have a business, let's create an asset. 
It's not hard. It don't take long. I, I'm going to tell you to poll your audience. That's not, you don't need to write that down though. I just need to tell you that because I don't want you to build something or invest in something no one wants. I'm just going to feel really bad if you do a good job in the area, there is no audience. There's a lot of people in the middle class, and they do this all the time, Jerome. I hear it all the time. They're like, yeah, it's new and ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing it. That's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. If no one is doing it at all, I strongly urge you not to do that thing. That's, that goes against your thinking. I know it does, but there's no market. If yeah. no one's doing it, right. then there's no market demanding it. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you do something that doesn't have a market? Now you say, well, I mean, Antonio, there was no market for online shopping when Jeff Bezos did it. True. Are you at the beginning of the internet? All right, then. Let's, let's not do what he did then, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, there was no market for DVDs and what Netflix did. Okay, are you at the beginning of DVDs? Let's not do that either then. Let's not do that either. Because Jeff Bezos had benefited from the governments and the corporations mm -hmm. creating and generating a market. And when you are at first to a market, your growth is exponential. Because if, if 10,000 people are using the internet and that number increases 10,000 per hour, that's 10,000 new customers that can only go to four websites. <laughs> you ain't at the beginning. Yeah. And you ain't at the beginning of DVDs. You ain't at the beginning of electric cars. But since you ain't at the beginning, chill. At least you go find a market that's already popping. Now, here is where I bless you. Anthony, get ready. What you need to do then is you need to follow Antonio's disruptive model. This is not about creating an asset that doesn't exist. It's about doing an old thing a new way. Please know I left a lot of details out there, video game on purpose, because I'm doing the old thing a new way. Just, just, just know that I am. Y'all familiar with Sims? Mm -hmm. Sims on steroids. <laughs> Sims on steroids with, with, with story modes. Sims on steroids, but not the low poly. That means, you know, the low, the, the graphics. Mm -hmm. like, the characters look like this. You know, they look like this right here. You know what I'm saying? So it's not not the low poly. That isn't low poly doesn't mean bad. It just means you know, Minecraft is low poly and it's number one yeah. <laughs> selling game of all time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to do an old thing a new way. Do not be first. Wow. Well, it is not important to be the best. It is more important to be first to a new category. You taking them notes, Anthony? Because I'm on it now. I'm on it. It is not important to be the best. I am not the best. Les Brown could speak me under a table. I am not <laughs> the best. But Les Brown cannot compete with me in any of my categories. I dominate my categories. It just is what it is. Right? It just is it. I bet not ever go to his category. <laughs> I'm getting dominated, crushed immediately. This is not about being the best. This is about being first to a new category. It's about being first to an old thing you're doing new. Why? Because there's a bunch of prototype customers over there that would pay you and you can use that money to be the best. It is. 
You're right. That's what we did with humor consultants. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, explain it a little bit so they can get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're the original humor consultants mm -hmm. back in 1980, early 80s, 81, 82. And then we've mm -hmm. had people copy us, you know, drop off. Some of them have stayed, but we're the original humor consultants. We've had people actually take our website and just duplicate it over onto theirs. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, oh, just yeah. all kinds of things like that. But anyway, that's yeah. that's our claim to fame. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good claim to fame. Nice. No, it's, it's, it's a good claim to fame. The you you want to be first to a new category. The reason why you want to do that is because there are a bunch of people upset about this category. And then, you heard me say this before, you want to build around the one and two star reviews. The three stars, eh, eh, you know. Antonio. Yes, ma'am. got to say what we did, actually, we we're the first to bring humor and fun into the workplace. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. So we introduced that into the workplace. That's really what we did. I don't remember anything fun about the eighties, but cocaine and, <laughs> and, and big shoulder pads on women's and your jackets and high hair and boom boxes. <laughs> the eighties was not a fun decade. I grew up in it. <laughs> it's not a fun and decade. Boy, what you're doing then? What's the point of doing it? Yeah, so yeah. That's what we helped CEOs of large companies. Yeah, no, yeah. and allow that into their businesses. Yeah, so you're right. No, you're absolutely right. I, mean, I think I had so much fun in the 70s, you pulled back in the 80s, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. We have fun. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So the fact that John was talking about humor in the 80s is first to a new category, that's for sure. First to a new category. We was watching, most fun we had, Jerome, in the 80s was watching Police Academy. One through seven, you know. <laughs> I think it's seven. I don't know how many. Is. <laughs> I, I can watch it all day right now. I can watch it right now for sure. It's on Game Boy. Yep. I didn't yep. get it. For me. Yep. I don't yep. know why. Game Boy. At that point, I didn't, you know, feel it was what he needed. Didn't get it until yeah. a few years ago. Yep, makes sense. But a makes friend got it. Makes good sense. No, I <laughs> got you. He's so now that you mad at me about that. <laughs> so now that you're new to a category, Anthony, you're gonna be first in this category. Once you're first in that category, Jerome, guess who's the leader? You. So you don't tell people you're the best. You tell people you're the first. The first ever, you don't say we're the best. No one's listening to you say you're the best anyway. Nobody, nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. You're the first ever. Now that you become the first ever, follow these steps. Take your product, get it to the point of selling. I did not tell you to get it perfect. I use my words very carefully, Tatiana. Get it to the point of selling and put it out there. And please, next step, let your customers tear that product up. Because those customers buying a new product are willing to wait with you to fix it. Look how many times ATS can change. A good point I just made there, right? That's a really good point. If I never made a good point before, that was it. <laughs> that was a really good point. Excellent those, point. Yeah. <laughs> those customers are willing to stay with you. They'll tell you, you should have this, you should have this. And then what you do, you go build that, you go build that, you go build that. Build it. Build their feedback. iPhone. iPhone. You use their feedback. Use their feedback to make your stuff better. Next step, give it right back to them. 
2.0. You understand? This time go get their friends and their family. Get they get their husband and their side man. Get them all. You understand? So yes. Get get Ken and Fabio. Get them both. Get them both. We need them both. And both of them over here using the same product. After that, improve your product again. Put it back out. I swear this is a step. What should you do again after that, Jerome? Put it back out. <laughs> and these first 50,000 steps is all about making money and fixing that product. Every single step is about making money, buying new cameras, making money. If, let's put this in real estate talk now. Making money and buy from one door to a bigger door, to a bigger door, to better zip codes now. And once you keep doing that, now you got to buy four doors. You get four doors, 15 doors. You know what I'm saying? It's the same concept, same concept. But once you do that, and as soon as you think you have enough money, go get some more new customers. With that same product. Don't think McDonald's ain't. As soon as you think you got enough money, you don't. Go get some more. Don't think McDonald's didn't do this to you. No. McDonald's got 20,000 things on their menu now. They started off with four or maybe three. I don't even know if the number four was up there. And then three. You get a burger or you get a burger. Which, <laughs> which one of these burgers are you getting? <laughs> That's it. With cheese or without? That's it. With cheese or without. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I bet when the first person said, let me get a number one plane. I ain't know what to do. And some of the managers was like, just go and do it. <laughs> they, 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 they was making it up. And McDonald's invented fast food business model, the, the infrastructure of fast food. They didn't invent burgers. Now, Chick-fil-A actually invented the chicken sandwich. That's crazy. That's crazy when you think about Tura Kathy invented the chicken sandwich. That is insane else? to me. Yeah. And then everybody else follow. Okay. Everybody else follow. But True and Kathy, McDonald's did not build a hamburger. They built the infrastructure that is fast food. But True and Kathy can honestly, well, can say he built the chicken sounds. That is his claim to fame. And I just blew my mind when I read that book. Anywho, now that you got more money and your product is a little better. You're not competing with the big boys. You're just going to get more weird feels and Susans. Get some more of them. You understand? Just get some more. And then work on your customer loyalty, as Phil will call it. Is that money? No. Oh. Is, is somebody trying to get you to pay me? Yeah. Oh, okay. We don't need, they're trying to make us spend money. Yeah. They, they are wrong. And that's health. Grace filled out a form online for health insurance. She didn't realize, Phil, that 5,000 people was going to call her. The information was going to be shared. <laughs> and since she don't owe nobody no money, she asked all her phone calls. And then there you go. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fix all your customer loyalty problems with all the people you got so far. Once you fix all the holes in your system and the holes in your product, and once you think you're ready, go get Les Brown's customers. Go get Lisa Nichols' customers. Give me another one. Tony Robbins' customers. Whoever is the established authority, it's time to go after them. But notice how you didn't go after them in the beginning. Netflix didn't start streaming until 2012. Yep, Netflix didn't start. Netflix invented the monthly subscription as you know it. <laughs> yes, they did. When they did the, that 
get it for free, but give your credit. Think about this for a moment. That's dumb. But yeah. we live in a world now to where it's not dumb. But in 2008, we were scared to buy online. Yep. Yeah, 2008, you were scared to buy. Yeah, 2008, you were scared to buy online. Not young folk, yeah. but most folk were scared to buy online. Yeah. Think about it. If I just came up with something and said, all right, okay, Susan, what we're going to do is we're going to have this app. You're going to sync all your credit cards and your oh, banking oh, information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To, it'll make no sense. <laughs> That's still saying it make no sense in 2008. It barely makes sense in 2022. But we still do it to Stripe. Stripe, here's my banking information. You, you know what I'm saying? Because, because there's enough evidence. There's enough evidence that we're safe. You know what I'm saying? Because times have changed. But back when 2008, 2004, when, you, when it was taboo to meet someone online and date them, right. today, yeah. you better meet them online. You don't trust nobody in real life. <laughs> that is <laughs> yeah, so meet them online. Check they post out real quick. Anyway, y'all, y'all don't act, you know, don't act like you ain't been on somebody's timeline. Once you get that, you go yeah. get their customers. And by the time you do that, you won. That's assuming that you have a business or are creating something from scratch. Let's say you're not creating something from scratch. And I'm almost done. I'm giving you every every scenario. That's. The first scenario I just gave you, you know what? Let me say, let's say you, let's say you don't have a product. You're the product. Let me give you that one. You don't have a product. You're the product. Perfect. What you need to do is you need to figure out a way to get money as you're the product, but your money doesn't need to stay in you're the product. If you're a consultant, an author, give me more of these businesses. Uh, a coach. a health no you naturalist herbalist oh, yes. if you're an herbalist oh, yes. if you are a cybersecurity expert if you are a coach or a consultant let me see give me if you're a salesperson if you're a musician like Stradivari if you're an artist if you're a masseuse mm-hmm. or if you don't know what the hell you are Okay, that's, that's everybody on this call. Right? That's everybody on this call. If you're into crypto, okay, there you go. That's everybody on this call. What you're going to do is your business is a front. You're money laundering now, legally. I'm going to tell you, don't worry about it. You're, you're going to tell everybody that that's what you are, but that's not what you're really doing because you're taking their money and you're going to put it in real estate now or something hard. This is very important. If you're a coach or a consultant and you're attempting to get your personal finances straight, what you're going to do is you're going to take 50% of all the money you get and it is going to something hard, a hard income producing asset. And I, and I bet you, everybody here who didn't do that, you wish, damn, why he didn't tell me that 10 years ago? I understand. <laughs> I get it. I, when, when, when grandpa gave you the money you wish you knew me because what happens is if you're the business which is just fine you you don't have a hard income producing asset because you are the income producing asset and this right here so look what i'm pointing at your brain is your money maker you're selling what you know and selling what you know is a massive transaction not a passive transaction that's a one-time transaction we want to turn one time into monthly i i know anthony penn going across that paper now i know that much now i've been busy you know i'm not saying that from what i'm writing (laughs) <laughs> I'm trying to try to give you every scenario, right? I'm, I'm trying to give you every scenario. The first scenario was assuming you had some ATS and you can create a product, you know, a video game or something. Now I'm out of that now. Now I'm in. You're Arshia. No, Arshia, that was for you too, because you're in supplements now. Same thing for you. That that's the same thing for you. So the first one example was completely for you. Human consultants. I'm talking in human consultants now. Anybody like that? Adrian in book. Margie with crypto, Jerome with books. 
Damali with data science. What does Tatiana do? She's just awesome. I have no she idea what she is. does. Was he, I just know strut she just, she's just awesome. She makes yeah, jewelry. Like she makes jewelry. Waste okay. Beads. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Waste speed. You got a flat stomach. All right, then out there in these streets. <laughs> okay, then. Or, or it's, my, it's flat like, you know, or my flat like. My stomach ain't flat, but it's flat ish. You know what I'm saying? It's illusion. It, well, you, you know what? And thank God for illusions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank God for illusions because sometimes. Yeah, sometimes that vest I be buying, Jerome, don't fit. They don't vest all the way, you know what I'm saying? Don't so so I, I keep it open. You understand? As for the illusion that I, I, that I can fit this thing. You understand? You understand? You're going to take 50% of that money. I genuinely want you to live off 50% of that money. You're going to take 50%. Let me, give you, let me give you a formula. 50% of that money is going to hard income producing asset. 40% of that money is going back into your business, like marketing or something. 10% of that money, I'll let you discretionarily do what you want. But where's my salary? You don't need one. Your salary is to 50%. If you, if you do what I'm saying, you don't need a salary because that 50% is going to be a bigger salary than you could ever dream of. And you don't, how many of y'all right now, you get your money and you spend it? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me now. And then, and then you, you, you sell your book and you go, ooh, I made $173 this month selling books. Bill. That's not <laughs> what we want to do. <laughs> them bill people still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? You can give them $63. You ain't got to get them all 173 Them bill people ain't going out of business. They irritate and they're going to stay here. Go ahead, Grace. I know you want to repeat something. 50% goes to, of your money goes into a heart income producing asset, 40% goes back to the company. Yeah, 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 back to the company. Yeah, and then the 10. 10, I'll let 10, you discretionary decide. decide. Yeah, you, you can decide what you want to do with 10. Maybe you say that's my petty cash. I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll let you decide what the 10 is. But 50, 40, 10 is your, your, your thing there. What am I doing? I'm hedging you against customers and your city not taking you seriously. Who know what I'm talking about? Because I've been through that my whole life. You, you, you know, I had to go all the way to India to get famous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, had to, you know what I'm saying? I, had to, I had to go on podcasts. People just listen to my raspy voice to get famous. Man. I still don't have a single family member in ATS in any way. <laughs> in any way. I don't know. Maybe the human consultants got family members. That they can, I, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I should say, no, no. <laughs> I ain't seen it. <laughs> no, I meant in ours. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. What's that? That that scripture? Uh, prophet, prove thyself. You know, <laughs> that's what it's. Feel, walk on water, then we'll buy from you. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. That, but that's how family is, man. Because because once you once you are like Phil and Susan, you become the original human consultants. Mm -hmm and you're doing a good job, you violate your family agreement because Phil and Susan had a position in their family and they were supposed to stay there. And now they're original and people are lauding them. That's a fancy word for, you know, you know applauding them and all over them. That's my little cousin. Susan That's ain't supposed it. to be better than me. That's it. My you, you get what I'm saying? So you, you violate that family agreement and most people can't handle that. You know, you're supposed to stay in your okay. place, Jerome. You my hey. little brother. I made a mistake. My mom loved it. She okay, well, you know what? Grew to love it and <laughs> to hear Phil speak and would tell people later on in life, like much later on, about yeah. you know, like if we were somewhere, but not in the beginning at all. They didn't understand at all what we were doing. I'm not, it was in the eighties. Nobody understood entrepreneurship in the eighties, but the people on Nasdaq. <laughs> but I wanted this. You know, this is what formula we want to do here right now yeah, right now we need, we need to do that right this absolutely where we're at with everything so i need to hook you can i got your message today i need to let me call brad he'll know he'll know a few things and brad's brass solid brass solid and i need to get you connected with some sort of real estate deal even if you so some of the real estate deals that been doing lately 
or you could be like a minority investor talking to everybody. And this is why I'm trying to get your finances together, for God's sake, okay? Because you, basically, you can, let's say you got, let's say minimum investment is $10,000. And if you want to be, because they always say, all right, Antonio says you like being the majority investor. They, they, they always done that. They, they, they always give you that price. And it's $150,000, you know, in. Because basically what it does, they, they always, they come to me and use my credit or something like that, or somebody, or they use my money or somebody. Because you always got to cover that 20% gap and you always need credit to get the 80%. You know, assuming you ain't trying to use all your money. And we ain't never trying to use all our money. Do you understand? All right. <laughs> okay. Well, so you want. So what I want to do then is, you know, with, with the sales funnel, with, you know, with that sales funnel and then our books and then creating, you know, other things with humor consultants then those things will keep the other part going while we invest over here. That's a genius plan. That's and genius. That's what I want to do. That's genius. You couldn't have said it no better. And, and I, I hear you loud and clear. That's exactly what you want to do. Well, let me explain what she said to everybody else. She's saying we have multiple assets now, multiple income producing assets for books, sales funnel, all, all working and, and getting ready to work. And we want to take our nest egg, put it in a hard income producing asset of real estate, mm -hmm. and then take the streams of income, support our lifestyle with one, two, three, or four, and then have the other five, six, seven, eight, add to the real estate. And then at some point, the real estate, we just kick back and blah, blah, blah. We ain't gonna never stop it, but we gonna, that's what we're gonna do. That's what she's saying. And that's exactly what you should do. That's how I live my life today. So you can become a minority real estate investor. But ten, let, let me just give you an example. Let's say apartment complex costs 14 million, 14 million, 500, 14.5 million. I can't say the number. What is that? 14 million, 500,000 dollars. Um, this is a real, I'm thinking about a real deal. Then it has about, I don't remember how many it had. Was it 200? Uh, 117 doors. I think that's about right. 117 doors are clearing $696 a piece. So now what you do is you say, okay, 117 doors, clearing $696 a piece. And at $10,000, that may net you back $1,000 a month or something like that because you're not the biggest investor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's just fractionally, whatever you put in, it's mm -hmm. fractionally. But even if you're getting $600 back a month from $10,000, mm -hmm. that's perfect because six times 12 is what, Grace? Yeah. Here we go. Six times 12 is uh, 72, so it's like 7,200. So what you're telling me is in 15 months, you, you at 100% of your, right. you can't do that nowhere on planet Earth, but yeah. real estate. You can't do that nowhere. You cannot take 10,000 and be in 15 months back to 10,000. And you're not going to sell until, but the goal is to, so you say, well, up front, you're already thinking maybe we want to get to 7% or maybe we want to get to 10%. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, once the value goes up 10%, 7%, then you sell. So now you take your all that monthly cash flow mm -hmm. and as a $10,000 person in with 7% of 10,000. 7% of 10,000? I'm adding too many zeros. So it's 700? Yeah, you get back 10,700 and you just roll it back over. And I use 10700 in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but of course, with the monthly cash flow, if you're not spending that, then, then you, you, can, you can take all that. So now you got six. You, you, the next time you invest in, it's $30,000 in. You, you're bigger, right? It just depends on you, but that, this is how you do it. I'm, I'm covering all the bases. This is I'm covering all the bases. And some of you out here have $10,000. You've got $10,000. You have it. You have $10,000. And what's the worst case scenario? You win. You just win slower than what you want. Who cares? Who cares? You know, one of the hardest things I had to do because I'm so compulsive. Like right now, I'm supposed to take my certification test today. I ain't nowhere near it. And not even close. So I moved it to Sunday. And it just eats at my ego, Susan. Because if I said I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. You know, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I run the risk of. Sure, I can do it today, 
But that means all the classes I take, I'm just going to be letting them play. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to learn a damn thing. <laughs> but just for sake of ego, I'm going to get it done and be guessing. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. Mm -mm. Nobody got time for that. I got time to guess on the future. Well, you're right about that. Not time to guess on your future. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's real estate. So if you're a culture consultant, anything like that, you take 50% of what you got. But I can't afford. Yes, you can. You can afford 50% because what's the alternative? You're gonna blow it. Yep. You're gonna like the alternative is you're gonna blow it. The worst thing you want to do is, and, 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 you, and if you're like me and Susan, you're going to blow it on something smart. But, well, Phil, you know, we've always wanted, no, 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 right? Because we, because we strategic and we just got these smart reasons to do dumb things, you know? No, no, you're going to blow it anyway. Somebody going to go to jail. Somebody going to have a health scare. You know what? It's better to have a health scare with 50% in real estate and you figure out another way to pay for that bill than for you to pay for that bill to stay alive and not have nothing. See, I'm different. I'd rather be dead with investments than alive with nothing. I don't know how to die a thousand deaths. Just give me one. Just give me one. And the old saying, a coward dies a thousand deaths. Soldier dies but once. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I'm just telling you what it is. You take 50% of your income, 50, 40, 10. If you're a coach, consult, if, you're, if your product is you, and if you are the asset, ain't nothing wrong with that. I need you to do psychological operations. That is a front. That's your, that's your laundry mat. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're Al Capone. You're making this dope money or alcohol money. He's, he's in all of it. You know what I'm saying? And then you take it to the laundry mat. So you're, I, I did the same thing. I did it. I, every last one of y'all joined ATS as an, a, as an education company. Yep. I did the same thing. And But me, I told you I was doing it though. I said, we're not really an education company. This is just the best way for me to sneak up on people. I said that. I said that over and over and over again. I did. Took all that education money, reinvested in tech. <coughs> and now we're building video games and and this is what, did you have those, do you have those certified, which way I couldn't copy and paste them, the, the certifications. This is what's happening around here right now. Tempest is doing a great job. Fantastic job. I got it. I, I, just, I just logged in. Tempest is doing a fantastic job. And now her, now her, uh, uh, let's just we'll call it a job. It's not a job, though. but now her job wants her to do more because that's 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 what happens when you mm -hmm. when they find out you feel oh you did three, three. oh oh was well, was well, well, shoot feel do some more then you know that's, that's what happens that's what happens when you're good you know you, you get responsibilities so now she has to do another three certifications in three weeks this time since she did so well they pulled her to the side Mm. You like that pull to the side. Yeah, yeah, they pulled it to the <laughs> side. You, you, you know what I'm saying? They put it to the side and gave it this conversation, Phil. If I was you <laughs> to stand out around here, <laughs> I suck up. And I would do this because they gave us some, you know, some information. And then she said, oh, what, I, what I really want to do is this. And just so happened to be talking to the manager of this, didn't even know it. Just happened to be talking to the manager of it. And the manager said, well, since you said that, <laughs> this is what I would do. And so now Tempest is also, let me do what you said I would do. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So, I cut, so she called me yesterday. So I told her this, Jerome. I said, well, I'll tell you what then. I'll jump in the fire with you. But over the next five weeks, which is going to be near impossible, because the class I'm taking out is 32 hours. Mm. The next one is 42 hours. So this one class is 32 hours. It was split in section. It's 32 hours. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so it's impossible. But here is <laughs> this. Like, pay attention. <clears throat> it's in chat right now. This is what I'm taking. <clears throat> and this is the date, proposed dates 
I plan on getting certified. Python is military intelligence. Military intelligence. <clears throat> Artificial intelligence. <laughs> and all this is Python related, but you see machine learning. You know what that is, Jerome? You know, you ever seen the, the video of the robot that's talking? Yeah, that's 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 that right there. So you got, and then and my ought to get excited because machine learning and data science. Machine learning and financial analysis. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because this is me talking about finances. Because I said, hmm, I should turn these skill sets into high income producing skill sets and then put that in real estate. So let me end you with this. Here's my plan. I told, I told Ken, Ken, Ken and verify. I'm telling y'all, I think I told Anthony, but I'm telling you now. I want to get to a hundred thousand dollars a month. Oh no, it's not. It's all right. Ken, how much I told you I want to give you? I forget. How much did you what? How much did I say I want to give you? Uh, I want to say yeah, hundred hundred fifty. Yeah, hundred fifty. That's what it was. It was hundred fifty. Okay, that's what it was. All right, all right, got it. All right. So I want to get to a hundred and fifty thousand. <clears throat> Well, get at the can oh. for blank, 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 blank. Mm -hmm. Then <clears throat> roll that and with some other stuff and between Ken and then everything else, I want $100,000 coming in a month. <clears throat> Let me tell you why. Because every month I want to buy a new apartment complex. I like that idea. <laughs> Yeah, I see the I remember that conversation. Now, now yeah, okay. Well, I remember that conversation. Now okay. you're speaking my language. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. So speaking your language. Yeah, I knew I knew I told Anthony too. Okay, cool. Cool. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I kept saying it was 150 kid, because like, he's got some he, he, he got some laid numbers, the groundwork for what supposed we supposed to do next. We supposed to do next. I want to buy a new apartment complex in my Jerome. I don't give a damn about none of these apartment complexes. No, I don't care. I don't care one bit. I don't care one bit. I don't care one bit. This course generational wealth. Of course, the network's gonna be off the chain. It's gonna be done. But that ain't what that's not my end goal. It's not my end goal. That's not my end goal. My end goal is to buy what's got what has more doors? The 300 unit apartment complex or the downtown building with a thousand offices. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't plant better, you can dominate. Thank you all so much. Uh, hopefully this helped you. You got a little blueprint. Uh, fulfilled my promise, created your assets, and <clears throat> do something well. Love you. Love, yeah. love, you, all. All love right. you all. And thank you so <laughs> much for your prayers that you went out for my family. And I just want to just thank y'all and say I love you. Love you, love more. you more. Love you guys too. Have a great one. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.